There's a new Chinese swimming sensation. Her name is Yi Shuwin, and uh, she is making headlines today because it turns out that she beat uh, the women's world record. And in certain portions of the race, she actually swam faster than Michael Phelps and uh, Ryan Lochte. Okay, which is pretty damn fast. So, in the second and last lap in the freestyle, she beats Phelps's number, and then in the last lap, she beats Lochte's number. So then everybody is now saying inconceivable, right? Uh, now, of course, feminists across the world are saying, well, what do you mean? Well, of course a 16-year-old Chinese girl can beat the top uh, male athletes in the world. And the Chinese are saying, well, what, doping, doping? You're talking about doping? <laughs> okay, now look, in 1998, the Chinese sw female swimming team got busted with 13 vials of drugs for doping, okay? Uh, and in the 1990s, this has happened several times. That doesn't mean that they do it now. Mm -hmm. And the IOC actually seems to have very strongly indicating, without saying so, that she has passed the drug test. In fact, I want to read you their exact quote because I think it's interesting. Uh, Mark Adams, who is uh, the spokesperson, basically says, uh, we would only comment if we had any adverse finding. I'm not commenting so you can draw your own conclusions. So he's saying that's wrong. She's not a cheater, okay? And that's the, well, there's, he has no incentive to make that up. So that's pretty good. Now, is it conceivable that a 16-year-old female swimmer can beat the times of the best male swimmers? No. Look, I don't. I, <laughs> <laughs> Go, Anna, defend all women. Physiologist Jake Uger is giving you yeah, uh, his expertise on this topic. No problem. I, I, I don't know, I, and I, I this See, is one of I those. See, I win. No, I, this, is, this is an example of a story where I feel uncomfortable having a strong opinion because I don't know, and I think a lot of people are under the assumption that she beat the men's record. I mean, some of these stories are written in such a confusing way that you think, oh my God, she beat the men's record. But no, she really didn't. She beat the women's record, which is not far-fetched. I don't think of that Of course, that's somebody's got to beat the women's record. There's it, nothing unnormal about that at all, right? right? That happens all the time. And you're right. The, when the first stories came out and everybody's like, oh my God, she beat the men's record. Uh, no, I was pounding the gavel. I was like, end of this. There's no way that happened. Okay. Right. Now, could she conceivably beat the best men in the world? That's a little bit more conceivable. So I, I see where you're going with this, Anna. Also, I want to bring in other male ju judges, though. Okay, let me finish my thought for a second, though. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think that it's unreasonable to drug test her. Oh, sure, of course. Yeah, like I know that some people think that it's insulting and how dare you. But I feel like if I were in her position and I knew I didn't do drugs and I succeeded in such a tremendous way, I would want to be like, all right, drug test me. And then I'd be like, what now, motherfuckers? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> right? Now, so, there I totally agree with you. Yeah. And I'd be like this. I'd be like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Somebody stick a needle in. Come on, please, 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 please drug test me. Come on. Because you're taking her glory away when you have these suggestions. And it seems like she might have passed the drug test. Okay, now having said that, of course she uh, cheated. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, uh, Justice Jackson, uh, cheated or no? Um, jeez. I mean, okay, we'll, we'll we'll do the brute. Just say what we think. I think she did, but I don't think she's gonna get busted for it. Mm -hmm. If you go through this much trouble to dope up enough to beat these kinds of records, you think you haven't figured a way to get around it? <laughs> if she did, it's not gonna be found out, and she's gonna be able to give the anecdote of what now, motherfucker? Because it's not gonna reveal. I don't think it's gonna reveal a positive test. Uh, now, right, now to give uh, I don't know discredit to uh, the Chinese Olympians. In the past, they've they haven't been very smart about covering up their lies. Like remember, we did a story about how some of their athletes were underage. They were not old enough to participate in the uh, Olympics, and they had like these fake passports, uh, and it was obviously fraudulent, and they got caught. Yeah, in now, 1998, they got caught. So I mean. Yeah, and the gymnast. Uh, controversy was in the last Olympics, but every time they get caught, they're always like, "What? How could you? Oh, this is it. Uh, you know, it's just because we're Chinese, right? No, it's because you keep cheating. That's why. And look, this used to happen with the East Germans. There used to be funny jokes about that. The East German women, etc. It, because you have a communist government who's like, "Oh, the national pride. We must do whatever it takes, right? And look, it's not a diss on the Chinese. All uh, not all, but a lot of athletes cheat. A lot of the time, Ben Johnson, Canadian sprinter. I mean, I don't believe a single bicyclist uh, is is n clean. I know you have strong feelings about it, right? But I just, I don't know. We, I want to wait and see. I, are they going to do more tests? That's what I'm kind of unclear on because apparently the Olympics committee already did the test, and so they're saying that she didn't have drugs. It's not about the Chinese. Not about women. 
It's that there's a lot of doping in sports, of course. So that's why we're skeptical, and it's not necessarily the case that she cheated, but there's understandable skepticism.